Hi, Joe Cerrone. And Al Rosen. Welcome to KID 116 Basic AutoCAD in our weekly Zoom classroom meeting. Alrighty, so as we take a look at the main splash page for our course, we've released the instructions for the final exam, and we realize that it's a bit early, but it's better to be proactive so that everybody uh, can get ready for the final. We have a practice final exam that students will be able to take, and that's an unlimited number of times, right, Al? That is correct. And so that'll be available, and you can access that in the quizzes and exams starting on the 14th. So you can't see it there yet, but it will be available. We will use Honor Lock for the exam. And so the exam is proctored with Honor Lock. And so if you go to the Honor Lock website, you can schedule a demo or you can get support, but essentially it's a proctoring software. Essentially you need a webcam to take the final exam so that you can verify your identity. They'll ask you to turn on your webcam and to scan it around the room. And then they'll ask you to hold up an identification like a driver's license to your webcam. And that's how the college handles the online courses to make sure that people are who they say they are. We want to make sure that we follow those rules so that we can continue to be able to administer the course. There is a cost for the exam, $699 um, for the exam. If you're taking other courses, you can get all your courses covered for $12, $11 if they have not raised it. It's just a multiple choice exam, okay? It's not a hands-on component for the honor lock. There will be a hands-on component to the exam, but we usually don't use honor lock for that. So we will do that just like we're doing with the current courses that we're taking right now. All right, um, last day to hand in assignments is July 27th, 11.59. Uh, some information about our courses that are being offered in the fall that Al and I will be teaching. And then a link to the videos for a lot of the course content. And then here's our normal weekly Zoom classroom meeting. And then I released some videos. I made the module five videos. And so this week we are covering module five and we have videos for the textbook lectures. So if you click on the module five. Hi, Joe Cerrone. Welcome to CAD 116, Basic AutoCAD. And so you can you can access that video there for chapter 10 as well as chapter 11. And what we try to do is we try to link the textbook material to what we're doing in class. And so in the chapter 11, chapter 11, layer and object properties. Hi, Joe Cerrone. We're going to take a look at chapter 11. From our... I'm going to turn off my volume there. But as you can see, I'll 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 go through the chapter and then I'll show how that works with AutoCAD. And so here's the layer properties manager. And there's a lot of information here. And since this is the first course, we don't go into every single detail. We go into the details that are the most important, like turning on the layer and turning off the layer with on and off, freeze and thaw. We'll go through layers and colors, how to assign the colors, line types and line weights. And so as you can see, I I'm demonstrating in the video things like how to turn on the object layer and then how to change line types and properties. So that information is there for you since we're online asynchronous. And remember, you can also come in in person. Elle and I are here right now to uh, assist with student support. All right, let's take a look at module five. So if we go to the content area, Module five, and again, I we've linked this, the videos to five. So the splash page just kind of is a wake up call. And then in the module area, we put additional content. Here's the chapter readings, chapter 10 and 11 from the AutoCAD instructor textbook. And so here's my red shelf. Here's, in, here's chapter 10 and here's our learning objectives. Essentially, we're just using these different zoom and pan commands 
and being able to restore views. And so facilities managers will use these uh, view naming and then they'll oftentimes, because you'll get a great big giant CAD drawing. And so what we have given you is a big giant CAD drawing that you can download. And so in this module, and I think it's in the main splash page, there is a drawing. It's in the main splash page. Let me get it. And I'll put it in the content area of module five as well. We have the drawings right here. And there's a floor plan sample drawing, which works really well to kind of try out the exercise. And in the chapter review for the textbook, they talk about, hey, you know, open up this drawing and toggle on these different layers and things like that. And so as we we look at that drawing, you can download it. Okay, it's just this kind of fancy floor plan. And then you can work with the layer properties manager to see how that works. You know, basically being able to turn on and off different layers, match properties, et cetera. Continuing, some of the other drawings that we have here Lab 5A, you're to choose the mechanical. The 3D is optional. Okay, we haven't, I'll show uh, how to do that to students who, you know, request it, but it's it's optional. You don't have to model it. Um, oftentimes we like to have a isometric model so that people can see what the part looks like. And if you have some 3D skills, great. But if you don't, don't worry about it. Make sure that you create the 2D drawing proper layers and line types. In other words, make sure that the dimensions are on the dimension layer, center lines are on the center line layer. Dimension the part according to the standards, which would be the number of decimal places. You want to dimension to endpoints. You want to be able to put the information on the textbook, on the title block. And then Here's another drawing that you have that you can choose from. This is a site plan drawing for those of you who might not want to do mechanical work. This is a plot of survey for someone's home. And so here's the house, the driveway. They have a pool in the backyard and the garden. They don't put the geometry for the house on because it's about the plot of survey. It's about the land. And so this is using the architectural units. And 5B is another mechanical drawing. You're welcome to choose either 5A or B. And this will use a, rec a, a polar array. And then we have our proper layers and line types and section view, et cetera. A good mechanical drawing. Uh, this is the drawings from module four. It's just this um, mechanical part. Module four polylines in module four O snap in case anybody has any questions after our zoom meeting we'll be happy to go through any of the techniques using object snaps like tangent apparent intersection this is probably the hardest because you actually have to kind of swipe to be able to get that to work and what i mean by swipe is you have to have your O snap on and so here's my drafting settings and it's already on the O snap tab so you have to have object snap enabled and object snap tracking with apparent intersection on. And you also want intersection on and you want extension on. And so once these are enabled, if I wanted to create a line like this one right here, I would go to the line command with my O snaps. And then what you do is you track them out. You kind of hover and track. There's the apparent intersection track it out to where they both meet, click. And so that's um, probably the hardest one for the apparent intersection if you had some trouble with it. All right, so that's our CAD component. Turn in those drawings. If you do bonus work, you get the extra percent. Al's also put module six on. We're, we'll be covering this next week, but you can see that it's available for those of you who say, hey, I'd like to get everything done and um, early, you're welcome to do that. Remember the quizzes are located in quizzes and exams and you're gonna wanna get the points for those. Okay, so the quizzes are active. You can take those up to four times. 
but they are part of your grade. So make sure that you don't forget about the quizzes and then turn in the drawings to the assignments like we've talked about in the other videos. Alrighty, back to the content area. So in module five, we have the videos for the chapter. Here's our learning objectives. You are to pick one drawing, okay? So you can pick this one, this one, or this one to turn in. You don't have to do all three. Here's the video textbook lecture. It's the same video. We just link it in the D2L. Here's the mechanical lab. And so if you click on that, you can see what the mechanical lab looks like with the instructions for that. Back to module five. And then we have videos for how to create the other labs. And so here's the site plan drawing. We like to put the PDF and the Word document in case we make any changes. They're the same, but the reason we have two of them in there is mostly for the instructor to manage it. And you'll create this civil type drawing with things like symbols for landscaping and symbols that will show things like sanitary sewer, water services, for those people who might be following an architectural path. And we also have videos for these exercises. And so the videos are located here. Okay, here's our mechanical video, our polar, another mechanical drawing with circular array, and our other videos for the site plan, et cetera. All righty, back to the main splash page and we're gonna wrap things up. Remember, you can uh, request some assistance. Tomorrow we have online assistance. Just send us an email and we can send you a link and we can help you if you need any assistance. With that, I'm going to end the meeting. Al, is there anything else that we want to talk about before I end the meeting? Can just go in the calendar for a minute, please? Sure. And it breaks down what we are summing up and what's coming up so far up and around the classes. So if you go down, you see July 25th, this is module seven and eight. Those are the last two modules we're going to be doing. Uh, 27th also, uh, you will see coming up uh, last thing too. Uh, if there's anything you possibly want to know, and here it is. Um, so that's about it. All right, thanks. This ends our weekly Zoom classroom meeting.